non-surgical ways to lift your face. Number one, fillers. The most expensive and fastest way to lift your face. I'm gonna be talking about five ways from the most expensive to the least expensive. Last one actually costs nothing, zero. So number one, fillers. Fillers are very, very popular right now. Everybody's getting, everybody know Kardashians. They are obsessed with fillers and it's nothing wrong. They do whatever they wanna do, no judgments. We all do what we think it's right for us. And if they think big ass is what world is about, it's fine, no judgment. They do whatever they want to do. I'm not judging them. What I'm talking about, what resonates with me, Fillers are okay as soon as you look like yourself, as soon as you just want to enhance. And for example, if you're 55 years old, your lips are thinner. We lose in collagen and elastin every single year, uh, starting from the age of 25, some people 20, uh, depends on your lifestyle. So for example, when you're 18, you have a plump pair of lips, right? Then compare when you're 55 and people say, don't do fillers in your lips because that's not you. Well, I'm just doing fillers because I want to look like the way I was 18. It's not changing. It's just keeping the youth the way I was before. I'm 35. I recently posted on Instagram that I did the lip fillers. And as you see right now, it doesn't look like, right? It looks super natural. It doesn't even look like I have filler. I do have filler. I did it two months ago, but I do the way I like it and I want to look natural. I didn't put full syringe, some women, they put two syringes and stuff like this. I wanna look just like myself. I have some fillers in my face. I did last year Sculptra. Maybe you already wear out. I don't know if I still have it, but I did Sculptra to lift a little bit my cheeks. Once in a while, I do dye sport around my eyes. No hiding, no lying. I just wanna look like myself. I don't wanna look fake. I don't wanna look like Kardashians. I just wanna look myself. I want to look like 35 years old the way I am. I don't want to look like 40. And I want to look like the way I was 20, 25, you know, 30 or even 35. But I just want to look good 35. And I feel good right now, guys. I don't have any uh, makeup over here. You can see I don't have anything on my skin. I have a rosacea a little bit, which is fine. I'm trying still to heal my gut and everything. And I think I'm getting better right now using probiotics, digestive enzymes changing some um, diet and everything. So number one is filler. It is up to you. You want to do it or you don't want to do it. I'm just sharing what I am doing. Number two, lasers. There is a very expensive laser that works amazing. Fractional or CO2 laser. I was so close to do that. But the thing that um, when you do CO2, you have to take antibiotics because of the inflammation on the skin and the downtime is like two, three weeks to repair all your skin. So I say, no, I don't want to take antibiotics unless I am going to be really dying and I'm against antibiotics, but that just me. I am living my holistic way. I rather have antibiotics for my health reasons, not for my beauty, but that's just me. So a CO2 laser, it works wonders for the wrinkles and lifting the skin. But I have tried matrix laser, which is much cheaper, less invasive, and still get, gives you beautiful results and so much cheaper, like really, really cheap. I think it was like 150 per session. I bought a package of five laser procedures and I pay like 500 bucks and I saw really great difference on the skin. So there are many lasers. I am not like a fan of very invasive lasers because for example what I think as an esthetician I think laser what if laser destroys your skin right we cannot change if you have filler you can change the filler filler always wears out especially me I have a fast metabolism filler disappears really quickly but the laser if you're gonna destroy your skin there is no way back only plastic surgery number three it is microneedling tools um, derma rollers derma pens aqua pen aqua stamp i have it here um Mysolift. this brand is really really amazing um another company that i support micro needling brand that they have already the serum inside so for example you can pump like this the cream comes out and you roll around your skin like that tiny tiny needles over there i really really love this brand and i support so they can be depends on the brand depends what they do they can um the price can be from i don't know 25 35 bucks to like 100 200 depends on the product this is 200 bucks 
this is I believe around like 50, 60, let me spread it out. So um, microneedling tools are scientifically proven to lift your skin, to help with the acne scars, even with the hair. Of course, Mesolift, they don't have a product for the hair, but I do have Dermarolus for the hair. This is, for example, 1.5, it's great for the hair growth. And I can insert a few of my clients that got amazing results using microneedle tools. Number four, exfoliating acids. By the way, what I'm talking about here, I'm gonna put down below in the description box. You can check out. I have a discount code if you're gonna be purchasing my brand. Just something to be aware if you want. Do it if you don't want, you don't have to do it. Just do your own research, you know? And also, by the way, subscribe if you haven't. I will really, really appreciate it. My favorite exfoliating acid is Paula's Choice. 2% BHA liquid um, exfoliant. Oh my God, I've been using this for a really, really long time. It's great for rosacea skin because I do have rosacea. Amazing, I love this. I use this once a week, really, really kind of resurfacing your skin, uh, removing these dead skin cells, um, boosting collagen. My skin next day, when I did photo shoot last year, I used this before photo shoot and my skin looked so amazing. I love this once, um, once a week. If your skin is extremely, extremely, extremely sensitive, this is very affordable. PHA toner from the Inky List. This is super cheap. I don't know, it's like 10 bucks, I believe. Maybe it's not even that. Really great for sensitive skin exfoliation. Acids removes that skin layer boost collagen and really, really great way to lift your face. And the number one, the last one, which is basically either for free or I have a few tools to show you, is a face yoga. You can take your time and do face yoga. I have tried face yoga. I'm actually, I made a video how I try yoga for the first time. I can put right here. It was funny to try all these exercises. The thing what you need with yoga, with face yoga, you need time. And I'm lazy, I'm gonna admit, I don't have time. I run business, I run YouTube channel, Instagram, social media, I'm influencer and I'm business person dealing with the products and customer service team, marketing team and everything. It's a little bit hard. I basically have full-time jobs. It's hard, especially dealing, you know, having personal time and everything, exercising, eating healthy food and everything. It's not easy. So what I actually do, when you, if you have time to do face yoga, you have to be consistent. You have time, it's fine. But when I don't have time, I use this from Cancer Organics. This is beautiful way to lift your skin. And I did video over there where I posted about face yoga. I tried this. This is such a great way to lift your skin. But you can combine with the face yoga. You know, you can do face yoga. If this is too expensive to you, you don't have to get that. Gua sha. This is great way to lift, for example, your jowls or something. Look at this. Hmm. Look at this. You have to take some time, but this thing works. It actually also depuffs your skin, removes all these kind of lymphatic, you know, drainage that is stuck in your face. We have a lympha going here. So if you have more wrinkles like I have, look at this. That's me, your lymphatic drainage is not that well. Uh, cells are not rejuvenating that fast. And you should just do this as often as you want. You can do this every day, every night before bed. I'm reading book and I'm like, mm -hmm. you can do on your brows, play around, Google, check on YouTube tutorials on using washa. Make sure you're using it consistently and you can see results. Even if you're not gonna see results, you're gonna prevent aging. Prevention is very, very important, but that is another topic. So guys, I hope you learned something new. Please let me know down below in the comment section if you have any questions. Let's share with another ladies, maybe another tips that you can uh, recommend to us. I love you so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't. Leave thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye, I love you. Bye.